I got involved through friendship with its first director, Lal Jayawardena. Uh, I had known him for perhaps five years or so before, uh, most prominently in the uh, Commonwealth Finance Minister's group on the Bretton Woods system, which I chaired. And Lal was a member of that group, and we saw quite a lot of one another. Um, and the odd conference here and there. We got along well, so I, I knew him. And uh, he, Lal was not uh, a research person. He was not well connected with the research world. He was a public servant. Um, and he needed people who knew something uh, about research or knew people. And he uh, called and asked whether I would help him. Um, and I was very happy to do that. In fact, the first time we met was uh, when he had scarcely arrived in Helsinki. He came to Toronto, uh, only a few blocks from here. He came and uh, paid as well for Carlos Diaz Alejandro to come to Toronto. And the three of us met and tried to help him uh, discuss, think, think through what he might do with this new institution. Um, out of that came a particular project, but uh, uh, the background was uh, friendship, contact, and uh, his need to reach out, as he always put it, uh, to people in the uh, academic community, in the research community. We originally, uh, planned, uh, Carlos, Lal, and I, <laughs> to uh, put together a research program to parallel one that the World Bank had just launched. Uh, the World Bank had uh, three people in charge of a, an analysis of the success or lack thereof of their adjustment programs. And uh, they were Ian Little, Max Corden, and Carlos Diaz Alejandro. And we thought, well, if we had Carlos as part of a project with wider that provided a southern perspective, uh, which he was going to try to insert into the World Bank's project, it would probably make the World Bank's pro uh, project a better one, but more to the point would uh, make it possible to develop an alternative uh, viewpoint. And out of that came uh, the project on stabilization policies. Uh, Carlos unfortunately died of AIDS a few months later. And uh, Lance Taylor and I picked up pieces and put together a research program on a stabilization policies which I believe to be one of the uh, more successful ventures WIDER has uh, ever undertaken. There were 18 country studies. Uh, 13 of them were done by nationals of the country in, in which they were uh, studying, uh, researching. Um, they provided, uh, in the end, provided a uh, quite unique uh, analysis of what was going on in the stabilization program, which until that point had been primarily uh, understood and driven by the IMF's own analysis. Um, 
Out of it came 18 separate country papers, none of which wider published in, in the sense of a, a book. They were, they were put out in paper form. But Lance uh, Taylor uh, did a thin little summary volume uh, called Varieties of Stabilization Experience, which called attention to the enormous diversity of Southern experience and the need to deploy uh, specific policies and uh, that, that were relevant to the diverse circumstances of the 18 different countries. I wrote an eight, eight, seven or eight page uh, critique, uh, comments on Lance's original draft, which included a title, uh, which was a Tropical Product Temperate Medicine, uh, implying that the, uh, the IMF was applying medicine that it had used in northern countries that were utterly different and uh, sort of drew on the, uh, the famous article by Dudley Sears called The Limitations of the Special Case, which, uh, which, which argued that developing countries really were sufficiently different that you needed a different model uh, to, to work on them. Um, I thought it uh, was uh, unwise to prescribe another single remedy, uh, which was implied by that title, uh, and rather to emphasize the variety. Within that book was a five or six page list of questions which any uh, negotiator with an IMF mission should ask before beginning. And we were told that that was widely used uh, in, in uh, de developing countries that were undergoing difficulties, macroeconomic difficulties, and were facing negotiation uh, with uh, IMF missions in the face of uh, shortages of data, shortages in some cases of analysts. Um, the simple list of questions which, if nothing else, required the IMF people uh, to answer them. And I believe that that little, uh, thin little book coming out of a network project in which Southern research people were directly involved uh, was, uh, was, was a significant input to uh, global discussions of what the IMF should or should not have been doing at that time. I think there were some excellent books that came out of it. I wrote a review of one, that I, perhaps this would now be regarded as a conflict of interest. I, I wrote a review of the book by Jean Drez and Amartya Sen, uh, Hunger and uh, Public Policy, I think it was called. I thought it was a brilliant book. And, and I said in my review that if Wider never did anything else, uh, this book justified its formation, <laughs> which I believe to be true. I thought it was a wonderful book. Uh, that was a high point. Uh, I thought our, um, our work on stabilization at the time uh, was enormously important and a, a major positive. I thought our trade policy work <laughs> was, if anyone had known about it. Uh, it was a high point uh, for the participants. Um, a lot of learning and mutual exchange. I think it probably had an impact on the gradual 
change which has since transpired of making industrial policy more legitimate now than it was then. You weren't allowed to use the phrase at that time. Um, I think that was a, another uh, big positive. Um, its major positive is, is uh, its existence as an independent uh, source of development expertise and networking, uh, network, as a base for networking among Southern scholars and, uh, and public servants. Um, that is, that's a huge positive. The weakness is uh, uh, in the early days uh, were its ability to get any attention for the things it was doing. Um, and I, I hope that has been overcome. Wider angle did not exist. Um, the website didn't exist. <laughs> there wasn't a web. Um, it, it, it was a different world in, in many respects. Uh, whether it has weaknesses that still need remedying, I leap for others. <laughs> I, I think it's an enormously important institution. Uh, I wish it every success in its next 30 years. <laughs>